All right, so a review of constructions here. We have co um, copying a line segment. You could read through all of these directions, but really, there's the center of your compass right here. Make sure that lines up on one of the points. You're gonna lock this in on a, the other point. If you over tighten it, it will break. So please be careful. Okay, so I'm right here. If I was to draw a little arc, I know I'm that distance away. I pick my own point out here somewhere because I'm just copying this P prime. And then anywhere out here, I make an arc. And anywhere on that arc is the same distance away from that. I use my straight edge to then Connect that. If I'm not under the dock cam, please make sure you let me know. Okay? So then this would be Q prime. Got it? Okay, next one. Line segment bisector. So this one in the in the perpendicular lines are the ones that are a little more challenging. Alright, here we go. So as long as I set my compass a little more than halfway, so this is about half, I go a little more than half, because if I don't go more than half, it won't cross. And I'm gonna do an arc at the bottom, and I'm gonna do an arc at the top. Because if I was to create this whole thing, it'd be a circle, okay? So really this is the whole thing, it's a circle. So the radius from here to here, to here to here is gonna be the same. Then I take the same size radius, to the other point, Make sure I use the same point or the same part of the compass. And I do an arc on the top and the bottom again. Then that gives me, every time you have two, point, two lines that cross, it gives you new points. You use your straight edge, connect, and you've perfectly bisected these two lines into two pieces. You created Really, you're creating an equilateral triangle here because you have the radius here is the same as the radius here. And then you know that, well, you're creating an isosceles triangle because we use something a little less than that segment. All right? Bisecting an angle. Start right here. You can do it one of two ways. You can do the arc across the whole thing, or we can just create a point on that angle, that's the same distance from the center. Okay, or I could create a whole arc here. Doesn't matter. I now have two new points. I move my compass. Create an arc out here. Move my compass. I get to create an arc out here. I now have a point so that's created by the intersection of those two arcs. And with that point and the center point of this angle, I can draw a ray out from this angle that would then allow me to say that this is the same size as this. Good? Hopefully that refreshes your memory from yesterday. Equilateral triangle. What's the equilateral triangle have? Three equal sides. So I need the size. This is kind of like the the um, line segment bisector, except for that I'm going to line this up to be the exact size of this line segment. Okay, and then I'm going to create my circle, top and bottom, and then I move it over to this side, keeping it the same size because I want them to be all the same size, and I'm going to move this up here to find a point or down below that could have worked too technically i then have two equilateral triangles and i put a point on one of those and then i connect them with the original and because this is the same radius of the circle every single spot that we go the radius is all the same radii are all the same we know that's an equilateral triangle Parallel lines are a little trickier. Okay, so parallel lines, you gotta think of uh, making a parallelogram. This isn't the only way to do it. You could look it up online and they would have copy and angle and it, there's a couple other ways to do it. But 
the way that this describes is to create a parallelogram. So I'm going to create a circle that that crosses this line at two places. Okay, kind of off the page. I now have this point over here and I have this point right here that I created. This is my radius that I chose from my point. So instead of it being from this, I'm going to move this radius up here and create the second side of the parallelogram right here. So now this dotted line is the same size as this line right here. Okay? So I've made this piece, this piece. Now I'm going to go to this point, and if I cross it at the circle, then this corner is, this piece is also the same distance from the center. So where those cross, create if you don't, if you take out human error, so there's a little human error there, create my parallel lines with that one. Uh huh. Is that just like your mind? It went over my head. I know, I went a little fast. This is the second time you're seeing it. So if we connect these, you guys, what do we get? A parallelogram. So that's kind of what you're shooting for. So we take the radius of this one and we find a point out here. Right? And then we move it to this and we find a point on this line that we were given. And then we move it down here and where it intersects with the circle, since this is the radius, these are all the same size because they're all the radius somehow moved around. Okay? And perpendicular lines, perpendicular bisector. So um, this one's very similar to the other one. But you got to take the point, you need to create an arc that crosses. This allows you to create two points here. So now we can take that same distance and create an arc down here. So that I have something to cross with point R. So the only difference of this one and this one is this one you already have two endpoints, so you just put them here and create the two points apart. And this one you don't have any endpoints, so you start up R, you create the points on the to make this a line segment, and then you can you bisect it at the bottom. These take practice. You're going to need to practice them at home. You should be able to do all of these things in the problem set. This would have been your homework if we would have finished this yesterday. All right? But instead, we're going to move on to lesson one, day three, which is more just more construction. So if you didn't finish this list right here, try to do this tonight so you get extra practice, okay? Otherwise, with a partner, look at these. And decide what they are. What's the name of each of these? Go. You should be able to figure that part out.
All right, so three, two, one, zero. Okay, so what do we get for this one? What's this look like? Angle bisector. Okay, so think about this. We had to create points on this on this angle that are equal right here, segments away, because that would be the radius of the circle, okay? Which then gives you these points to where you can create another point out here. Really, you're creating a another parallelogram if you look at it this way, in some type of form, okay? And then you bisect that, and you got an angle bisector. What's this? Parallel what? Line. What's this one? Perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular lines because why? We don't have these points. They created these points first and then out here. So perpendicular lines, perpendicular bisector, that's kind of very similar. Okay, what's this last one? This isn't one that we've done, but we kind of did it. I said it just now earlier today. It creates a triangle. What kind of triangle is this? Isosceles. These two are this radius from the circle. Because if I continue this circle around, right? But this doesn't mean that that's equal. So what type of triangle is this? Okay? Good? Well, whatever. So the rest of this lesson is Using a separate piece of paper, create a piece of artwork that includes all of the following constructions. Feel free to add other lines and arcs that are not required, but make sure that you include all of these constructions. Color and label where your constructions are in the artwork. This plus this will be your homework today, and you have 15 minutes. So, this you are going to create and color and label. So, if you do your construction, do it in pencil and then go over it in a certain color and label it so that you know what it is and try to fit them all on a piece of paper somehow. Okay? Is that color? Yeah. No. <coughs> color pencil would work. Okay? So, you need to have all of these pieces. You need to also construct a regular hexagon. What's a regular hexagon? Yeah, so you, you probably already did that. You might have done it already, so get an idea. Then use that hexagon to cut it in half, either vertically or horizontally, using the same hexagon, bisect any of the vertices. All right? So any questions on homework? No. Okay, you have 15 minutes of class time to work on this. There's blank paper right there. Don't waste your time. Okay? Go.